In the last episode, I built this awesome enchanting cave and a triple cave spider XP farm to power it. So now it's time to get some OP armor and tools. In between episodes, I got a decent amount of XP. And we also have some diamond and lapis ore to mine up. But before I do any of that, my top priority is to get fortune 3 on a pickaxe. Since that way, we can get the most amount of diamonds and lapis from this ore. So let's head to the enchanting cave, craft up a new diamond pickaxe, and let's see what I can get on it. Okay, efficiency 4. And it's just efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3. That's actually not too terrible, so I'm going to keep it for now. But you know what? I realized the enchanting cave is missing something, and that's a grindstone. So let's grab two planks, two sticks, a stone slab, and turn it into a grindstone. And now I just need to find a place to put this thing. And you know what? I think right here would be kind of cool. Yeah, that's not bad. But now let's also grab my anvil, and I think I'm going to put it right here. Let's do something like this. And then I'll place this lantern right down here. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, and now we can use my grindstone. This pickaxe only has fortune two on it, so let's disenchant it. And now let's see what I can get. Okay, unbreaking three. Wait, same thing. Oh my gosh. Let's disenchant it one more time. Okay, now this this one's only efficiency three. I don't even know if I should try that. Let's just see. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Okay, well, now I'm below 30 levels, so let's head back to the XP farm. And you know what? I think I need a better way to get over there, since it's actually super far from my house. So let's head down here. And I swear I had a saddle somewhere. Where is it? Do I not have a saddle? I swear I had one. <laughs> what? Okay, well, I guess we don't have a saddle, but we do have a subscribe button. We're getting so close to 500,000 subscribers, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. All right, no saddle, but I know exactly where I can get one, and that's gonna be in the Nether. Now, if you remember from last episode, I had a chest full of items over by that bastion that I found. But first, I think I need to go home real quick. It's way too dangerous in here. And I'm going to need to grab my gold helmet. There we go. That's going to make things so much safer. So now we can head back through and go find that bastion. I think it was over in this direction. Okay, I found a bastion, but I don't know if this is the one that I found last time. Oh, wait, no, it was. There's my chest. Go away. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's no saddles in here. What was I thinking? Okay, I have no idea what to do now. Maybe I should try to find a fortress because I know those have saddles in them. Oh, hello, friend. There we go. And look at this. I've come across a fortress. Now let's see if I can find a saddle in here. Okay, more diamonds. That's always nice. A wither skeleton. Hello, friend. Okay, one more chest. Still no saddle. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's gonna have a saddle. I'm calling it. It did. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Finally. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. I do not want to be here right now. Let's run all the way back up here. Oh, hello. We'll kill this guy. Oh, our first blaze rod. Look at that. And I think I came from here, right? I don't know. Oh, another chest. Wait. I want to see what's in here first. More saddles. Look at that. And diamond horse armor. And more diamonds. Okay, that was definitely worth it. But over here is where I came from, so let's head back home. I think I'm just gonna dig in a straight line till I get to zero, zero. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I can't... What? <laughs> I can't believe I just found this on accident. And look, I'm at Y67. That is so rare for up here. And it's two of them? What? I can't believe I just found some ancient debris. This has actually been a pretty good nether trip so far. <laughs> but let's keep mining back home. Okay, I'm finally back home. Now I'm gonna head over towards spawn and then over to this plains biome. And look at that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, there's actually tons of them over here. And let's try this one first. And now let's put a saddle on him. Let's see. Okay, this seems fairly quick, but the real question is how high can he jump? Let's see if he can jump two blocks. Okay, he can. What about three blocks? Okay, he can't do three blocks, but I don't even know if horses can do three blocks. So I think this is a pretty good start. Let's take the saddle from this guy. Now let's try this one next for comparison. Okay, already this one has way more hearts. Oh, but it's so slow. Okay, we can't use this one. Sorry. Um, just so I don't get confused, I'm gonna get rid of him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think this one was the fast one, right? Let's test it out real quick. Wait, no, he's slow too. What's going on with these guys? <laughs> They're all slow. Okay, so I guess I'll try all these horses and I'll be back once I find the fastest one. All right, after trying out literally every single horse in this plains biome and basically killing all of them, I found two pretty fast horses. Both of them were about the same speed, so I quickly ran back home to get some more leads. But as I was on my way back, I saw this guy, a donkey. So let's tame him real quick. And he's going to be so useful for bringing back items that my inventory can't fit. Okay, we got him tamed. So let's put him on a lead. Now, as I'm on my way back home, leave some names in the comments for all three of these guys. I was really bad at naming things in season two, but I want to get a lot better at it this time. So leave some names in the comments and then I'll name these guys next episode. Okay, we're finally back home. Let's just bring these two guys up here. We'll tie them off. And now we'll take one of the horses and we can finally head over to the XP farm. That was quite the long side quest, but trust me, it's going to save us so much time. Okay, I've gotten 36 levels, but my sword is down to just one durability. So I'll grab my horse and let's head back home. All right, and now that I'm back in the enchanting cave, we can keep trying for fortune three on my pickaxe. Oh my gosh, look at that. First try. Let's see. And it also has efficiency four and unbreaking three. That is amazing. So if I combine it with this one, then I'll have a maxed out fortune three pickaxe. But we still have some more levels. So let's go grab some sticks, craft up a new sword, and try for some enchantments on this. Let's see here. Okay, sharpness three. And it's just sharpness three. Okay, it could be worse. But we're just down to 30 levels. I only have 
one more enchantment left. So maybe let's try my boots. Okay, Death Strider, that's pretty good. And look at that. Oh, but it's Blast Protection. Let's just keep it for now and we might be able to get rid of it. But I'm already below 30 levels once again, so let's grab my horse and we'll head back to the XP farm. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot the whole reason why I wanted to get Fortune 3 and that was to mine up these diamonds. So let's grab my Fortune 3 pick. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to combine it first. I keep forgetting so many things this episode. So let's quickly head over to my anvil and then we'll combine these two. 13 levels, oh my gosh. But it's a maxed out pickaxe, so it's worth it. All right, let's hop back on my horse, head over to these diamonds. And let's see, we're starting with 24. And let's see how many diamonds five can get me. And we got 34, okay. So we doubled our diamonds. I got 10 from five ore. That's honestly not too bad. And I know stone diamond ore is kind of rare, so I'm just gonna keep it for now. Oh, and look at this. I have diamond horse armor. I totally forgot. Let's put that on my horse. And look at that. Both of us are full diamond now. You know what would be cool? If you could turn diamond horse armor into netherite horse armor. That'd probably be super useless, but I feel like that'd be a cool flex. Okay, I'm back at the XP farm. And this time, since I have a fully healed up diamond sword, I'll be able to get a lot more XP. So let's get to work. All right, I'm all out of levels now, but I managed to get Sweeping Edge 3 and Bane of Arthropods 4, which is honestly not too terrible since I'm using that Cave Spider XP farm. But once again, we're gonna have to take my horse and go get some more levels. Okay, I just made it to the XP farm and let's try out this Bane of Arthropods. Oh my gosh, it one hit kills them. It's amazing. That's gonna make this go so much faster. After some more enchanting, I wasted all my levels and I didn't get a single good enchantment. So to save you guys from the pain of enchanting this sword, I'll be back once I have it maxed out. I really hope this doesn't take too long. After so much enchanting, I finally have my perfect sword. Now, I don't like fire aspect or knockback on my swords, so for me, this is maxed out. And while I was doing that, I also maxed out all the rest of my tools. I have a maxed out Fortune 3 and Silk Touch version of every single tool. So now it's time for my armor. And I think I'm going to start with my boots, since while I was doing all my tools, I got a Feather Falling 4 book. And also, while I was in the Nether last episode, I got a Soul Speed 3 book. So let's craft up a new pair of diamond boots, go get some more XP, and try for some enchantments on my boots. Okay, Protection 4, look at that. That's actually not bad. So if I combine these, I'll have Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Depth Strider 3, and then I can add Soul Speed 3 and Feather Falling 4. And is that maxed out? I think it is. Five levels to add Feather Falling 4, and then 15 to add Soul Speed 3. But I'm all out of levels, so we gotta head back to the XP farm. And you know what? Let's bring an anvil with me as well. Here we go. All right, and now that I have 15 levels, we can combine this. And there we go. I now have maxed out boots. So now I'm just gonna get some more XP and work on maxing out the rest of my armor. I'll be back once I have everything done. All right, after even more enchanting, I finally have all of my armor maxed out, except for one piece. And that's my leggings. For these to be maxed out, they need Swift Sneak 3. And you can only get that enchantment in an ancient city. But lucky for me, there's tons of deep dark below my house. So I'll just have to find a cave, something like this. Oh my gosh, Feather Falling 4 just saved me. And now we just have to hope to stumble across some deep dark. I think it's only a matter of time before we find some. Okay, I found some more deep dark, and this time there's Shriekers. I'm not sure if that means I'm getting closer, but it definitely makes things a lot scarier. Wait, hold on. Okay, I found an ancient city. Okay, so I guess it does mean we're getting closer. Now, how am I gonna get down here? I do have Feather Falling 4 now, so I should be able just to go like this. Oh my gosh, see, I didn't land an MLG, but I'm still fine. <laughs> All right, and now we just have to search some chests and try not to summon the warden. Oh no, I activated a shrieker. That one right there. Oh, this is so scary. All right, so since that was my first activation, I think I have two more free ones until the warden spawns. So I just have to be a little more careful. All right, I've come across my first room with some chests. Oh, and I activated another shrieker. Oh gosh. Okay, looting too. That's not terrible. We got a saddle. Very nice. Maybe I should have come here to get the saddle earlier on. And some echo shards. Nice. Oh gosh. Okay, that was the third one. I think the next one and the warden spawns. All right, I've spotted my next chest. So there's so many shriekers around here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this without summoning a warden. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to get in and out super fast. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see. Okay, nothing very good. Oh, more diamond horse armor. Okay, here's the warden. Oh gosh, let's leave. Oh no, it's so dark. Guys, this is bad. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm so scared right now. Okay, he seems to be kind of stuck up there. So I'm just gonna run away and try to find our third chest. I had no luck with the first two, but hopefully third time's a charm. All right, we have one more right here. Let's see. Oh no. Oh god. Oh my god, an enchanted golden apple. Okay, let's run away. And look at that, we have another chest. Two more gone apples? Oh my gosh. And a ward armor trim. But speaking of ward armor trim, we have our third warden spawning. Okay, I just heard one warden despawn. And I'm coming up to another chest. Let's see, what's inside? Swift sneak two. Okay, that's not terrible. If I find one more of these, then we can just combine them. Okay, there should be two more chests up here. But there's five shriekers. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to loot these super fast. And here we go. Go, go, go. Okay, Swift Sneak 1, not very good. Okay, what about this one? Thorns 3, Riptide, Protection. Let's grab Thorns. Um, okay, let's run away. Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh. I'm in the worst spot right now. Because if I jump... Okay, I'm just going to have to do it. 
Oh, it heard that. Please don't get mad at me. It's making the angry sounds. That was not smart at all. Okay, I think we should be okay over here now. Okay, there he is. Uh, this is terrifying. Okay, we have a chest right here, and we also have a shrieker. Let's see. Okay, we're good. I'm so scared. Swift Sneak 1 again. Wait, I think we're good. Look at that. I have two Swift Sneak 1s. If we combine them, then I'll have Swift Sneak 2. And then I already have a Swift Sneak 2. So if we combine those, then I'll get Swift Sneak 3. Oh, and we have other side. I didn't even notice that. All right, and now that I have everything I came for, I just have to make my way out of here without summoning any more wardens. I think in total, I summoned about eight of them. And thankfully, we only had one close encounter and it wasn't that terrible. So let's mine my way up here now. Okay, and here we go. I found the surface. So now I can make my way back home, combine all these books. All right, Swift Sneak 2. Two, and then two Swift Sneak 2 books makes Swift Sneak 3. Let's see, how much will it cost to add to my leggings? 15 levels, okay. Well, I only have four, so we're gonna have to go get my horse, get some more levels, and then add Swift Sneak 3 onto my leggings. And there we go, fully maxed out armor and tools. But technically, they actually aren't fully maxed out, since on all of my armor and tools, I'm missing one enchantment, and that's mending. Now, the easiest way to get mending is through a librarian villager, so it's time to get some villagers. I don't think there's any villages even kind of close to my house, so I'm gonna have to find a different way to get villagers. And that plan is going to be to find a zombie villager and cure it. Now, lucky for me, in the nether earlier this episode, I got a blaze rod. Oh, wait, but I'm going to need two of them. One to make the brewing stand and the other one to power it. Okay, so first we have to go back to the nether, which will be a lot safer now that I have maxed out armor. And we need to find that fortress that I found earlier this episode. Okay, and here it is. Wither skeleton. Uh, ooh, now that I have looting three, I might be able to get some skulls on accident. But I'm here for just one thing, and that's blaze rods. Oh, I already have seven? What? I only killed two of them. Okay, well, that's all I need, so let's head home. I don't want to spend any more time that I have to in here. And look at this. Swift Sneak 3 is amazing. I totally forgot how awesome this enchantment is. All right, I've made it back home. Now we can craft up a brewing stand. And then we'll use one more blaze rod to get some blaze powder to power this thing. And now we'll make some bottles, fill them up with water, grab a spider eye, one piece of sugar. And now the last thing I need is a brown mushroom. And I don't seem to have any, so we're going to have to go back to the nether one more time. And look at that. All the way over here, I found some brown mushrooms. If I drop from all the way up here, will I be okay? I don't know. Let's just test it out. Oh, only two hearts? What? Feather falling four is insane. And look at that, our brown mushrooms. Oh, and there's a friend guarding it. Hello, go away. All right, let's gather all these up, and now we can head back home. All right, now that I have this brown mushroom, I can craft up a fermented spider eye. We can then throw it into here, along with my glass bottles. And this should craft us a weakness potion. There we go. And now I'm just gonna need one gunpowder to craft a splash potion. And then I already have a golden apple, so that's everything we need to cure a zombie villager. And this is perfect timing, too, because it just became nighttime. So I guess I'll just run around down here until I eventually find one. All right, it's actually been a few nights since I haven't been getting very lucky, but look what I found over here. A zombie villager and also some regular zombies go away. So let's try to bring this guy closer to my house. Now what do I do? I guess I'll just splash him and then I'll give him a golden apple. There we go. <laughs> and now I guess I'll just leave him in here. So now that I have this one zombie villager, let's go try to find a second one since we're going to need at least two villagers to breed them. And this is the contraption that I set up. If I go all the way up here, then the area that mobs can spawn is much smaller down here. So all I have to do is zoom in until I find a zombie villager. Wait, is that one right there? I think it is. Look at that. All right, let's jump down here. I think this is him right here. Yeah, look at that. That was so easy. What? And now I think to be safe, I'm just going to lure this guy into a hole right here. Okay, he's stuck down there now. And now I can splash him and give him a golden apple. And there we go. We now have two zombie villagers curing. So now all we have to do is wait. Oh, look at that. The other one is cured already. We got zombie doctor. Let's go check him out. Oh, I hear him. Hello, friend. Oh, he's already a fisherman. Oh, because of this barrel right here. I don't want him to become a fisherman, so I'm going to break this. And now he's going to become a cleric, which I also don't want, so I'm going to break this. And I think he's going to become a farmer. There we go. And what is he trading? Wheat and bread. That's not very good, so I need to reset his trades. Okay, I got potatoes and wheat, and I think that's good enough for now. So let's go down here, grab all my extra potatoes. And let's do some trading. Look at that. We got what a deal. And let's go check on the other villager now. I really hope he's still alive. Wait, I don't remember where I put him. Oh, here he is. Hello, friend. And now I'm just gonna bring him over towards my house. Okay, this is the final stretch. Here he comes. And now I just have to craft him a lectern. I'm gonna need three books, some planks to craft a bookshelf, and then some slabs to craft a lectern. All right, let's get rid of this guy's workstation, and let's turn him into a librarian. Okay, he's selling knockback one right now, so I'm just gonna reset his trades until I can get mending. This might take a while. Guys, it only took me 10 tries and I got mending. And for six emeralds, too, that's pretty good. I think that's the fastest I've ever got gotten mending. But let's quickly head down here to craft some books. And I'm gonna need 13 in total. That's enough for all my armor and all my tools. And let's go buy some mending. Hello, friend. And look at that. I already have all the mending books that I need. That went so quickly. I can't believe it. So now let's head back up to the enchanting cave over to our anvil. And we'll add mending to everything. Okay, so far I've added it to all my tools except for my hose. But I'm all out of levels. So let's grab an extra anvil, hop on my horse, and go get some more XP. All right, and here we go. My last mending book. I now have mending on everything. So let's just stay here for a little while and heal up all my armor and tools.
tools. Okay, and after a bit of time, everything is all healed up now. But as I was doing this, I realized that I'm missing something, and that's a bow. I completely forgot about enchanting a bow. So let's head back home real quick, craft up some bows, and then enchant them. I'll be back once I have everything all maxed out. All right, and here it is, a maxed out bow. This took me so long to finish, and while I was doing that, I also added mending to my shield. So I think it's safe to say that we now have fully maxed out armor and tools. Well, except for netherite, but that's for next episode. And that's going to be all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!